If not donate, partners could sell Patriot systems to Ukraine. Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte. The European Union may buy Patriot air defense systems from countries that have them but are unwilling to transfer them to Ukraine, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte said. According to Rutte, Kyiv's allies have the necessary funds to finance the purchases. We can buy it from them. We can deliver it to Ukraine. We have the money available. It's crucial, the Dutch Prime Minister said. Rutte clarified that he was referring to countries that do not want to transfer these systems to Ukraine directly. We know that many countries are sitting on large piles of Patriot systems, maybe not wanting to deliver it directly. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg called on allies to beef up Ukraine's air defense amid intensifying Russian attacks. Stoltenberg spoke as Germany is making plans to encourage European countries operating Patriot missiles to give the systems to Ukraine. Over the weekend, Berlin announced it would send one Patriot air defense system. Germany announced it will send another Patriot system to Ukraine, a part of the important effort we are now making across the NATO alliance to step up our delivery of air defense systems to Ukraine, Stoltenberg said. If allies face a choice between meeting NATO capability targets and providing more aid to Ukraine, my message is clear, send more to Ukraine, he said. Previously, the Netherlands promised $4.27 billion in military aid for Ukraine, which includes the transfer of several Patriot systems. On April the 12th, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba said that Ukraine was actively negotiating with allies to acquire two Patriot batteries and one SAMPT unit. He added that if partners were ready to transfer these systems, the issue could be resolved within weeks. On April the 3rd, Kuleba noted that Kyiv's partners were reluctant to transfer five to seven Patriot systems to Ukraine, even though they have more than a hundred at their disposal. On March 30th, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that Ukraine had submitted requests for additional Patriots to every country that owns them. Ukraine is ready for negotiations with Russia. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky said this in an interview with the US TV channel PBS NewsHour that he said that official Kyiv is really ready for negotiations with those who want peace, but Russia does not want peace. So we understand that Putin is not ready for any negotiations. He doesn't want. He's not interested. For him, this is not victory. He needs victory. And, for him, victory is to destroy Ukraine. Moscow does not intend to negotiate for the end of the war. According to Zelensky, the peace summit will be held in Switzerland in mid-June this year, a plan to end the war will be prepared. This summit will be held without Russia. Because Russia can hinder the plans. Zelensky also said that children in Ukraine understand everything, they, including my children, believe in victory more than some of our partners. Our children know the answers to all questions. They understand that the end of the war depends on some factors. But they are sure that we will win. Our children do not doubt it. The country's leader noted that his children are worried about his fate, I think they are afraid of whether I will survive the war. Zelensky said that Ukraine will not be able to win without the support of the United States, frankly, without the help of the Congress, we will not have a chance to win. This is very difficult for us. Because Russia is superior in terms of personnel and equipment. He also stressed that Russia is attacking the territory of Ukraine from the occupied Crimea. Ukrainian general named the reason why Ukraine does not declare war on Russia. Ukraine will not declare war on Russia because it is not profitable for it. As ex-deputy chief of the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, Igor Romanenko explained, Kyiv is afraid of losing Western help. Answering a question about a possible declaration of war on Russia, the Ukrainian retired general explained that Ukraine would not do this under any circumstances, since it would immediately lose help from the West, which is actively avoiding a direct clash with Russia. And transferring military aid to Ukraine, which has declared war, means taking its side. Therefore, Romanenko urged not to grasp at definitions. We have a large-scale war. Legally, this is enough for us. If we went to a state of war, then 
assistance for weapons and equipment would cease not only from the United States, but also from most of the Allies. They have this written in the law, said the general, adding that even in the current situation there are closed points in assistance from the United States. Today, Ukraine receives virtually no military assistance from the Americans who have switched to Israel. The right to support the Kyiv has been transferred to Europe, but it cannot do it alone. And the internal problems of the European Union do not make it possible to compensate for most of the US assistance. If war is declared, Kyiv will lose even the little assistance it receives. Recall U.S. Senate Majority Leader Democrat Chuck Schumer said that a consensus was reached that Congress could act quickly to send aid to both Israel and Ukraine. As reported by ABC News, Schumer expressed hope at a press conference in New York that something could be done this week to help both countries. He noted that the best way to send aid to Israel and Ukraine is for the House of Representatives to pass the Senate-approved National Security Supplemental Act, which includes aid to both countries. The Senate passed the $95 billion US dollar package in February, but House Speaker Mike Johnson did not bring it to a vote.